probably the worst humanitarian crisis on the globe right now. One that no one is talking about. We start over in Haiti today. Then I share some glorious news with the launch of Scary Movie 6 and the birth of a very rare endangered species. And then I unfortunately share a tragic story about a cute and adorable one-year-old all here on the Bullock today. So let's do it. The mainstream news is so corrupt. This is unbelievable. This is wild. No one is talking about this. The shootings are just out of control right now. If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. Haiti is out of control. The humanitarian crisis that's boiling over there right now is so bad that I have to leave out a lot of vivid details here so this episode doesn't get demonetized. Haiti, as you may know, has been in turmoil for a few years now, even well before the assassination of their president, Jovenel Moise, back in 2021, and it only seems to be getting worse. Even labeled a level four do not travel advisory by our own U.S. State Department due to kidnapping, crime, and civil unrest. This is the highest category you can be labeled as. A new United Nations report reveals that the gang war has killed or injured over 1,700 people between July, August, and September, representing a 30% increase in comparison to the previous quarter. This also includes 106 executions by law enforcement, and out of that 106 total, this included six children that were under the age of 10 years old. Also during this period, gangs kidnapped over 170 people and were held for ransom. The UN-backed security mission of 400 Kenyan police doesn't seem to have alleviated much of this violence. With the collapse of their political system, there was the birth of a power vacuum that gangs throughout the country, most notably in the capital of Port-au-Prince, have fought tooth and nail over. The violence has become so brutal that what gang members did to a police officer last month, I have actually never seen or heard of anyone doing to another human being ever. That includes considering the atrocities that take place in different gen genocides throughout the world, humanitarian violations that have occurred in POW camps, and any explicit fictional TV show you can think of like Criminal Minds or the movie like Saw. Forms of torture that have never been thought of even in medieval times. It's disgusting, and the sexually based violence that has occurred is even worse. It's almost untrackable at this point, as it's so underreported. These sexually based crimes likely never even get reported because A, the clear and most obvious fear of retaliation, and B, who are you going to report these crimes to? The gangs run Port-au-Prince, the country's capital, and have also been forcibly recruiting children. It's hard to say things could soon be on the rise when elections aren't even scheduled until late of next year, and it's nearly impossible to even conduct them at this point. A humanitarian crisis that sits next to Somalia, Sudan, Ethiopia, and Burkina Faso, along with many others collecting dust on the UN's to-do list. Now time for thumbs up and thumbs down. We head with a big ol' thumbs up to California here. Thumbs up, average Joes can play. Thumbs up to the Wayon Brothers, Miramax, and Paramount Pictures for bringing a scary movie number six out. The scary movie franchise that was developed by the three Wayon Brothers will bring a scary movie number six with plans on beginning to shoot starting next year. After nearly 20 years since the absolutely genius release of the very first scary movie, if this one is anything similar to its original, this production will really push the boundaries of today's soft society and bring comedy back to the original form that millennials like myself grew up with. One of my favorite lines that I actually still use till this day from the movie, especially now around Halloween, is... What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
all of the scary movies were absolutely so funny in their own way with Scary Movie 2 being hysterical for its disgusting humor-filled sarcasm and lust for the disabled, while Scary Movie 3 was genius for being able to combine hip-hop culture, white farmers, and aliens all into multiple scenes of rap battling. I cannot wait for this film to be out. We actually stay in California and head on down to San Francisco here with a thumbs down. Now thumbs down to any health condition that affects babies. NFL player and current cornerback for the 49ers, Severius Ward, announced the very sad passing of his one-year-old daughter, Amani Joy. Amani was born with a few heart conditions, including Down syndrome, and underwent surgery to repair two holes she had in her heart. Absolutely heartbreaking to know that a one-year-old has to deal with such adversity at such a young age. And two parents have to try their best now to continue in life after losing their child at one years old. Now trying to shift gears slightly here, Bad news sucks. I hate even discussing a story like that one, but stories like that do make you, if you're listening right now, appreciate those around you a little bit more as life is one precious, delicate, fragile place. And with that, we rewind the tapes to look at a piece of history here with This Day in History. which specifies the unconditional surrender of Japan. The president has been shot. This day, 82 years ago, and after 15 years of solid hard work, the glorious, iconic American symbol of freedom, Mount Rushmore, was completed, featuring the heads of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Located in the Black Hills of South Dakota, the sculpture was led by Goodson Borglum. Now, from the looks of the glorious final appearance, it seems like a project that went smooth and undeterred from complications. But a few unknown facts, Goodson had to redo Thomas Jefferson's face when it was realized that there was not enough stone to complete it, along with having to use dynamite to remove large amounts of rock underneath George Washington's eyebrow. Now, a lot of times covering the news can get nasty. You're talking about a lot of bad things. So every show I will be bringing you good news in this hyper-polarized world that we do live in. It does still exist. And for good news today, we head over to the UK. Here we go. Jumping across the pond into the UK, we enter the Wobin Safari Park, who just helped breed a very critically endangered species of the eastern mountain bongo. The first calf of the bongo born at the zoo in 10 years, the species is listed as almost entirely extinct. With just around 100 total bongos left in existence in the wild, this calf's birth is playing a critical role in global conservation for its species. The male bongo was born healthy, walking around exploring its environment. It is estimated the species found in the forested areas of Kenya could be extinct in the wild within the next two decades after years of poaching. Now your daily news podcast, The Bullock, is out Tuesday through Thursday at 5 p.m. I will be back here next Wednesday as I will not be putting out a show this coming Tuesday due to the absolute election chaos that will be going on throughout social media, so I will see you then. News and factual material are deeply researched through confirming the validity of multiple sources by the broader media landscape across the global sector and the digital world. All statements are a combination of primary and secondary research components geared towards providing the only new show in video and podcast form that provides a clear understanding of important world issues that are being left out by the completely biased and politically driven global media machine. Thank you for listening.